what's up everyone? My name is Cedang and today we're going to be playing an awesome game called Curiosity by the Franklin Institute who happened to sponsor today's video and there is a very rare item that you guys are going to be able to get at the end of this so make sure you guys watch to the end and as you can see it is right here so we'll get into that later but we're going to check out the game here first. So we're about to go ahead and check out everything this game has to offer but before we do that let me tell you a little bit about today's sponsor and once again don't forget about about the awesome rare item that you're going to be able to get and I'm going to show you at the end of this video but let's get into the Franklin Institute the Franklin Institute is an iconic and beloved hands-on science museum in the heart of Philadelphia it's actually one of the nation's premier science centers at the Franklin Institute you can explore interactive exhibits about science and tech including space sports physics and your brain with live science demonstrations a rooftop observer and a planetarium and you can even experience blockbuster toying exhibitions like Marvel Harry Potter and Disney all right let's go ahead and explore curiosity and see what this game has to offer all right so we've got a little robot guy over here named Benji bot and apparently he's gonna tell us more about curiosity the game okay so let's see what we can ask him so we can ask him about escape rooms morphs Franklin Institute and research tasks so let's ask about the escape escape rooms first oh escape rooms there are two escape rooms for you to enjoy the space and the human escape room they are located on the top left there are three difficulties to try out but you have to complete easy to go on to the next ones okay cool thank you benji for the information all right let's ask him a few more questions here all right let's ask about the morphs there's not much to say we just learned about the morphs too they harness the powers of science and knowledge to grow and evolve you can help us out by growing a few morphs of your own anything else you need to know yes of course Benji we want to learn everything although we already told you about the Franklin Institute so I'm not sure Benji has too much more to say about it we are the Benji bots we manage and run the Institute feel free to try some escape rooms get some items from the Benjis and do the morphs that we just asked about okay cool thanks Benji and last but not least give me some research tasks sure calculating finish good luck with your research cool okay so we have tasks over here on the left and we've got to obtain knowledge fuse morphs and use aux 02 five times all right so Franklin Institute has told me there's also a scavenger hunt if you want to go ahead and complete that it is in this lobby so let's go ahead and check out the area here's the Hadron Collider this is basically where you get your morphs done we'll have to check that out later let's go ahead and check out the rest of this place I don't know exactly what we're looking for in the scavenger hunt but I'm sure that you guys can figure it out also there is a 10 minute cooldown on the scavenger hunt but you can repeat it for rewards so that's pretty cool okay so over here we have the escape rooms as well and wow just look at this map this is so cool so also each time that you complete a scavenger hunt successfully you will be rewarded varying amounts of coins and morph knowledge so make sure that you guys complete those scavenger hunts every 10 minutes so that you can go ahead and get rewarded those coins as well as that morph knowledge but I think that it's time to go ahead and check out these awesome escape rooms. There's two of them, so I want to check out both. So let's go ahead and let's jump in. So once again, there are three difficulties, but we need to complete easy to even try medium or hard. So make sure you go ahead and beat easy so you can go ahead and level up and try the more difficult game modes here. But we have got space and we've got human body. So I'm just going to go to the left here first. Let's check out space and we'll check out human body afterwards. All right, so we're getting a little bit of a rundown of the escape room here. Those cinematic that's pretty cool man wow this is awesome what the heck this is an epic escape room and here we are whoa welcome you are now on the surface of the moon which is almost 250k miles away from the earth <gasps> whoa oh my goodness this is epic so i just cleaned up some debris and we also got to make sure that our oxygen up here is at a good level while we're trying to complete this escape room also you get rewards for things like knowledge gained for task completed completing the escape room and tickets okay, so we gotta move this green wire oh, oh oh whoa what the what the heck whoa oh i see i get it we just gotta align it with the green tubes here oh we got it let's go all right as you can see i'm an escape room pro
pro. We did those wires easily. Then you just got to clean up all this debris. It looks like something went down inside of this spaceship here over on the moon, man. And clean this debris up over here as well. Bam, bam, bam. I wonder how hard it gets when you switch the difficulties. Oh my gosh, this is the moon. We're on the moon. I don't know how I'm breathing here. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is epic, guys. So there's a whole other escape room as well. And we're actually going to go ahead and check that one out because I don't want to spoil the epicness of each escape room for you guys. I don't want you guys to see the end. I want you guys to figure it out for yourself. So make sure that you guys join this game once again. And don't forget about that special item I'm going to tell you guys about at the end of this video. All right. So let's check out the human body escape room now. Okay, here we go. Here's the human body escape room. Hello, skeleton man. I love the cinematic at the beginning of these escape rooms. It's really cool. Welcome. You are now inside a ventricular artery traveling at about half the length of a ruler per second. Gaining some knowledge here left and right, man. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got a task over here. We got a password and escape the tube refuel. All right, let's just go ahead and explore the area, though. That's what I'm most excited to do. Look at this place. Oh my goodness, it's so well done. It's our boy Benji Bot over here as well. Okay, let's follow this arrow, though. I love that it gives us a little bit of a... a oh, we got to restore oxygen here as well. Okay, good. Oh my goodness. We got to always make sure you got your oxygen, guys. Otherwise, you're going to be dying left and right. Okay, we got a heart rate regulate. Okay, the heart of this body is beating out of control. Stabilize the heart rate by adjusting both terminals arrows so that they are fully in the green area. Okay, cool. Very cool. Right, let's control this terminal here. We got to get it fully in the green area okay bam we got to get this down here right like all the way down to the green okay nice 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 okay we got to do it over here as well now let's go ahead and get this down 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 to the green get it in the green area i gotta make sure that heart's okay man bam heart is stabilized let's go okay so we're about to check out the hadron collider right here where we can go ahead and do some stuff with our morphs but before we do that we actually got our morphs over here and as you can see you can equip multiple morphs and we actually are already have one so if you guys don't know morphs come in all shapes and sizes and look at this guy oh my goodness he's huge he's awesome too he's i don't even know what shape to call this guy to be completely honest he's all spiky and stuff that's very cool we got ourselves our first morph right here let's go ahead and let's check out this collider though all right so in this area you can actually go ahead and take your tickets and bring them up to benji bot over here and you will be able to get rewarded with random items for those tickets and if you're lucky enough getting these different items you may even be happy enough to go ahead and get yourself a rare item in here as well and also a quick note if you don't like the way your benji bot looks or maybe you just want him to look a little bit cooler there's a, actually a customization option for your benji bots all across the entire game right here on the left you click on that and as you can see you can change his head his body and his wheel to get your own customized benji all right so now we're going to talk about the awesome free items available in curiosity that you can wear on your Roblox avatar, and I'm so excited to talk about this, guys. So let's get into that. Now, you guys may have actually caught a sneak peek in the beginning of this game, but as you can see, free item unlocked at third like goal, which is 10,000 likes on the game. So make sure that you guys join the game and leave a like on the Roblox game. I already left a like myself because I need to get this item. As you can see, it's a lightning bolt cap, man. I did not decide this. I had no idea that this was actually going to be an item in the game. I'm totally gonna wear this once we can go ahead and hit that like goal so once again hit that like goal so i can wear it guys because as you can see i'm always wearing a lightning cap i got one on in the game right here right now right here i've always had one for years so it's actually really cool to get another lightning bolt cap and the other item that you can get is a hard shell backpack which is awesome because all you need to do is spend at least five minutes in either of the escape rooms so make sure that you guys play those escape rooms obviously they're very cool you're gonna be playing them anyways i'm sure it'll take you five minutes or more to get in there and if not i mean you're gonna get to the harder difficulties I'm sure that those take longer than five minutes to complete. Once again, I didn't want to spoil what happens in the escape room and show you guys how to beat it because I want you guys to beat it yourself, but I'm going to go in here, play a little bit off camera so that I can go ahead and get the hard shell backpack myself. All right, so I went ahead and I played more of the escape room on my own. And as you can see, I have unlocked the hard shell backpack. The item is now owned. It is absolutely awesome. Oh my goodness. But once again, guys, go ahead and leave a like on Curiosity. It's so close to the goal. It needs to hit 10k so we can 
at that awesome lightning bolt cap. I want it so bad. It's definitely my favorite of the two. I love both, but I definitely like the lightning cap more. Comment down below what your guys' favorite item is as well. I'd love to know. Anyways, that's going to go ahead and end off today's video. Make sure you guys join Curiosity and go and play those escape rooms. Leave a like on the game so we can get that lightning cap and do the scavenger hunt as well. Thank you so much to the Franklin Institute for sponsoring today's video. I appreciate it very much. Your game is very cool and your items are awesome as well. Can't wait to get that lightning cap. Once again, leave a like on Curiosity, guys. I need it. Look at, look at me. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. See you later. Bye. You can go watch more by clicking one of these right now. Hurry and click one. Hurry. You don't even know what's going to happen to me. Click it now.